In today's video, we see if the Wish.com electric turbocharger really makes any power. Whoa! 12,000! That's interesting. Uh, it's dead. We literally just blew it up. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. My name is Sam and we are here at GCG Turbos here in Japan to find out if the Wish.com electric turbo that we bought for $80 USD will make any real power. We have the R32 Skyline already bolted up to a mainline Pro Hub dyno. Are we ready to make power, Daiki? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How much do you think this is gonna make today? Maybe 50. 50? Yeah. All right, I think you're generous, but <laughs> we're gonna find out, we're gonna find out. If you're wondering what GCG Turbo does here in Japan, well, they are Japan's only distributor for Garrett turbochargers, and they're also Japan's biggest turbo rebuilder and overhauler. So I'm here with Daniel, and you run uh, GCG Japan, right? Yes. How many years have you been in the turbo industry? Um, 13 years now. 13 years? Have you seen anything like this? No, I haven't. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna give any more power? Um, no. Right? Not at all. It's pretty small I'll be, I'll be surprised, like, um, where did you get it from? China, uh, wish.com. Yeah. It's not, look, not looking good. <laughs> not looking good. <laughs> what do you think of this? Instead of H case, it says HNS. Well, yeah, there, there you go, there you go. <laughs> anyway, let's see what it makes. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you so much for letting us use your dyno and everything today no to worries. put this to the test. Appreciate it, Daniel. Cheers. So we've got everything hooked up to the dyno now. We've got this nice little box here that will give us uh, any indication if there's any boost. We've got this, so we've got our RPM off the spark plug lead. And we've got, of course, the turbo hooked up. Now, how I'm gonna do this, well, electric turbocharger hooked up. Um, how we're going to do this is we're going to do a ramp up test with this hooked up without using the turbo. Then what we're going to do is another ramp up test with us using the turbo. And then we're going to test it with no turbo airflow meter NA and see if we make more power because I have a sneaky suspicion that this is going to be restricting flow to this engine. And then I have a fourth test lined up that's somewhat special and I think we might actually get some kind of power out of it. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, Daiki, are you ready? Yep. Is this your first time? Yeah. Faster. First time? Faster. Are you master, master tuner? Master tuner. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna ramp this up, guys. I'm gonna take the keyboard. We're gonna do our first dyno run here. I'm excited. I'm really excited. This car has an automatic transmission. I'm not entirely sure what the proper way is for us to be dynoing this, but I'm just gonna put it in D mode. I'm gonna turn overdrive off and I'm gonna put it in power mode. And we're just gonna do all of our runs the same so that the results are consistent and we're not gonna change any of that. If there is a proper way that you guys know of that we should be doing this for next time, please let me know in the comment section. But for today, as long as we keep everything the same, the results should speak for themselves and be consistent across the board. So let's get straight into it. What we're gonna do is let this ramp up. It's gonna change gears a couple times. All right, we're ready. We're holding her. And when the moment I hit space, the test starts. Let's go. Horsepower to be made. Yo, there it is. 94.9. And then here's our manifold pressure. You can see we didn't go anywhere into the positive. So obviously this is kind of a control with it bolted on, but it's not being switched on. So this is so that when we do take it all off, we know if there's a restriction. 94.9 PS. That's pretty much horsepower. It's a little difference, but that's fine. All right, now let's turn it on and see what it does. I got my switch. We're gonna let the dyno hold it. Getting space. Woo. I don't know, that sound. Oh! 99! It actually made power! All right, but is that just a restriction? But look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. I don't know, I don't know, we need to, we need to look at that. Look at this, tiniest, 
Like we're like level there, 0, 0.00. We're not, I don't think we're making boost. Oh. Oh. Did it make any boost? This is the light. Oh my God, we did. We did. We made the tiniest boost. See this line here? Little bit of boost right there. Interesting. Now we gotta take it all off. So let's shut her off. Whoops. Uh, automatic transmission problem. Now let's pull it all off. I really have a sneaky suspicion that this is a restriction. So I think we're gonna take this off and I think we're gonna make more horsepower than this has ever seen. Like on the dyno, just because this seems like a big restriction to me. All right, get that off, sit that there. Airflow right there. Now, mind you, we're obviously running this with no, uh, no filter. Let's see what it makes without this hooked up at all. Completely disconnected, all right guys? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit it there. I think it's gonna be better. I think it's gonna make over 100 now. Let's find out. So this is our base control. This is no turbo hooked up, no restriction, no boost being turned on or anything. This is just pure, naturally aspirated RB20E. Let's listen to the single jingle. Okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense now, guys. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised. Let me shut this off. So, what did we just learn? That is a restriction and it's stopping the engine from breathing. But, not that much, right? 94 with it off is really not that much. What are we missing out on? Like six, seven, seven horsepower or so? That's not that much of a big deal. I don't think you're gonna really feel that much, but it does make sense why when we would turn it on, we would feel a little boost because when the fan's coming on, it's kind of helping delete that restriction. Um, I think we proved something here. Keep your car NA, don't buy one of these. But am I done with this? No. I wanna know how much it actually spins. If you remember the original listing, it said that it spun up to 32,000 RPM. So the speed range of this thing is 6,800 RPM to 32,000 RPM. Well. Wow. I have an RPM tester here. We're gonna put this on there when Daiki turns it on and we're gonna see what we measure. Is that our RPM tester? Let's see what she makes. 12,000. 12, so the highest I saw it go was 16,000, but it seemed to average at 14,000 RPM. So when they said that it'll average between seven and 32,000 RPM, um, that's pretty fair. So I don't think they were lying there, but let's see if we can double that RPM on this thing. So we're gonna hook this back up and I've got another 12 volt battery here and I'm gonna put these in link series so that we can get 24 volts to this thing and see if we've, I don't know if it's gonna blow up. I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm not gonna test it until we're ready to do the ramp test on the dyno, but I'm hoping that this may see us if we get anywhere near back to the 102.3 PS as what it was NA, if we make above that, then it's worth it. It's wired up for 24 volts now. Battery should stay here, pretty stable. Just doing some zip tie terminals, you know. Usual stuff that you need to do when uh, you're conducting science and research and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes things look a little sketchy with zip ties. Anyways, I think we're ready. Let's go. Let's see. We've got it all hooked back up. Everything's nice and tight. Um, Ready for 24 volts of fury or bust? I don't know, but let's find out. All right, guys, here we go. Bring the switch for me. It's either gonna go bang, or I don't know. All right, here we go. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> it just made 105. 105. 105 PS. What did we make before, Daiki? 104? Mm, maybe not. Listen to it. It's not happy at that power level. It doesn't run. Ah, it won't run. Look, it shuts off. It, it blew up. <laughs> we just blew it up. It's dead. We literally just blew it up. Quarter that up. The Chatsu, it's so hot. It's, it's so hot guys. I think we just blew this up. Oh yeah, we did. That box is really hot. It did not like 24 volts. Well, I'm glad we did this last. Yeah, it didn't like that. Yeah, the motor's fried. <laughs> you can hear it just locking itself up. Well, we killed it. I never thought I'd blow up an electric turbo, but we did. We just blew up an electric turbo, Daiki. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. We just blew up an electric turbo. Mm -hmm. We blew it up. <laughs> Well, at least we're in the right place. These guys might be able to rebuild it, right? Quite a job. Yeah, but 24 volts, it's too much. But it was good, right? From GCG, it's too much. No. 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 I'm going to take this out so that we have a little bit more horsepower on the way home. I think it's done. I think this thing, it's, it's toast. Having a quick look at the dyno graph here, this is our boost gauge and you see this line here, we just touched zero, we didn't get any boost. So this thing made absolutely no boost even when we threw 24 volts at it. <laughs> and it, I think the coils inside are completely shot because it just doesn't, doesn't turn on at all anymore. So there's a good chance we, we fried it. We fried it good. Let's see if it'll turn on with 12 volts again. Oh! oh. Every time we give it 24 volts, it just locks up, but 12 volts, it's back from the dead. So I don't really understand what's going on there. Probably just the motor, like the magnets or the coils inside, when you give it too much voltage, it doesn't like it. But this thing's junk. We're gonna pull this apart real quick and just see what's in here. It's kind of interesting. Eh? Wow. <laughs> Mota. <laughs> That's it. Hontori compressor wheel desu ka? Oh, ko compressor wheel da ne. It does look like a compressor wheel, he said. That's interesting, but the compressor housing. So da ne. Futsu, futsu compressor housing desu ka? Oh, ko futsu no futsu no, ko na kanji da ne. So this is like a compressor housing, he said. So I just think this doesn't spin enough for it to work. That's probably why. No boost. Well, there you guys go. That's the, uh, that's it. And there's some kind of, I guess this is the motor here which kind of presses off, I guess, but we might pull this down a little further at the shop. We've gone and removed the electric turbo completely off the skyline. It's back to true NA power, which subsequently means that it actually has more power than it did with that electric turbo on. I'm curious to know if any of you guys in the comment section thought we were gonna have the same results that we saw today. I definitely had a hunch that it was probably restricting things. I'm also curious to know if this will help on a smaller engine, something like a K car engine with 600 cc's, um, which we might be able to test at some point in the future. Let's find out what you guys wanna see though. So let us know down in the comment section. Daiki, yep. was today interesting? Yeah. Did you like it? Yes. It didn't make 50 horsepower though. Yeah, so sad. So sad? <laughs> you want this turbo for your car? Do you want lights car? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> maybe, maybe for uh, when it rains, so no yeah. fog on the inside of the windshield. <laughs> maybe like a heater blower fan. <laughs> <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and us testing and seeing how that turbo would perform if it really lived up to some of the stuff that they said it would. 
And honestly, I don't think we saw a 30% power gain there at all, not even the 10%. So it's most likely gonna end up in the trash can back at the shop. But I'm curious to know your thoughts. Once again, let me know down in the comment section. Smash that like button, write us a comment and subscribe. And of course, let us know if you wanna see more content like this and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.